It's so annoying when a girl ghosts on you. You know what I'm talking about. You've been texting this girl consistently for a while and you're really starting to like her. The conversations have been smooth and interesting and your vibes and interests seem to be matching. You might even be about to ask her out or you're thinking about taking things to the next level and then suddenly she stops texting with no explanation or clue to justify the sudden lack of contact. I don't know. It can really freak you out. You start thinking if you did something wrong or offended her in some way. If you've gone through this sort of thing before and your efforts to get her back made things go from bad to worse, what is wrong with you? Then this video is for you because in this video, I'm gonna reveal seven texts that are almost guaranteed to get a reply from her. Plus a bonus tip to make sure her disappearing act doesn't repeat itself. So sit tight, pay attention because you don't wanna miss any part of this video. And without much more ado, let's get into it. My name's Matt Artisan from the Attractive Man Coaching Team and author of the best-selling book, Turn Her On Through Text. And before we talk about what you need to do in order to get her to text you back, you need to first understand why she stopped texting you in the first place. Understanding this will help you make sure that you don't get too upset about the ghosting and then start overthinking it. Or worst case scenario, totally freak out at her in her DMs. Because in reality, Sometimes when women ghost, they actually have genuine reasons. She could have a lot on her plate at that time and she's just trying to clear things up before she texts you. Or she may have had every intention to text you back and she just got busy with something and she totally forgot. I've done that before. I've even typed out the text and then just forgot to hit send. You don't wanna lose your shit and totally go off on someone who's just handling their business. <laughs> on the other hand, women sometimes ghost men as a test. They want to be sure that you're really as cool as you've been portraying yourself to be. And you won't totally freak out or even give up if something as minor as a little unanswered text comes between you and her. In such a case, you really do not want to lose your cool there because you'll just be proving her right. I knew it. I knew it. The problem is that guys are thinking like guys. We're thinking logical. We're thinking we always keep our word. If we say we're gonna be somewhere, we usually show up. If somebody texts us, we usually text them back. It's just the logical thing to do. Women do not base most of their actions on logic. They do it based on emotion, based on how they feel. So if she just doesn't feel like texting for whatever reason, it may not have anything to do with you, then she's not gonna text back. And a lot of really attractive women have tons and tons of guys texting them and they need to weed out the ones that are worthy. The guys that are needy and just text her over and over again and freak out, they're not worth her time. She needs to see that you can be playfully persistent. It means keep trying if you actually like her without becoming needy. But when one day of no contact turns into two, three, or four or five, are you just gonna sit on your hands and wait for her until God knows when to text you back? Not necessarily. And that's where these texts that I'm about to share with you come in. It'll show her that while you're concerned that you haven't heard back from her, you're not one to lose your cool and you can totally understand whatever it was that took her attention away. Trust me, I definitely understand. All right, starting the countdown at number seven is something so random that she'll have to reply to it. For for example, you send her something like, hey, I'm bored, wanna rob a bank? When she gets the notification and sees that text, she'll get so puzzled and amused, what? That she'll just have to text back, either to ask for clarification or better yet, to go along with the role play. In fact, I've even used that bank robber role play to set up a date. I'd ask her if she wants to be the driver or the one, you know, shooting the cops. I love you, honey bunny. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! And then I tell her, okay, we need to meet at such and such place across from this bank to decide all the details of our heist. And then I tell her what to wear, like sexy stilettos, a short skirt, and of course, a ski mask. Now, she didn't actually show up in the ski mask, but she did show up. And no, we didn't rob a bank. But we did do some other mischievous activities. But the point is, it shows her that you're just a fun guy and you don't take yourself too seriously. And that you're not affected by her not replying back. In fact, you didn't even notice. Number six is almost guaranteed to get your response back because it uses a technique called a bait to bait her to reply. Text her something like, I think you have a confession to make. She'll see that text and will be practically obligated to reply almost immediately with something like, I don't have a confession to make. Or what are you talking about? Or what is it? 
And you could reply with something like, I think you're really into me, but not sure how to tell me. This will either make her laugh, which is great, or get her to tell you the truth, why she hasn't been texting you back. Maybe it's because she has a boyfriend, which is not so great, but it's kind of important information. Number five on the list triggers something that every woman has, whether she likes to admit it or not. It's called competition anxiety. For example, you can send her a text like, I just met your twin. When she sees it, she'll unconsciously start worrying about whether you met someone that can take her place. And immediately, she'll probably go into damage control, establishing herself as being unique and irreplaceable. Or at the very least, it'll spark her interest and you'll get some sort of reply back. Sounds kind of ridiculous, but go ahead and try it out and see for yourself. But remember guys, always veer on the side of honesty. If you didn't meet someone that kind of resembles her, then don't send that exact text. You're a smart guy. I'm sure you can come up with something unique and truthful. Send this next text to a girl who has ghosted you and you will get a response. It's simply, want to hear a secret? I mean, come on, Everybody wants to hear a secret. Shut up and tell me what's going on. No one gets a text that offers the promise of some juicy information and willfully ignores it. Trust me, she'll be back in your DMs, all hyped and ready to hear some gossip. But be careful with this one because you have to make sure that you have something interesting, or at the very least, a witty joke to share with her so that you don't totally disappoint her because then she'll probably just ghost you even harder. I usually reply with something like, you're madly in love with me and you're hoping our love child will resemble John Stamos. Or I kind of have a crush on this girl named whatever her name is, but she's playing hard to get, dot, 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 shh. Don't tell her, okay? Now, at this point, I think it's absolutely imperative that I make one thing clear before we continue with our list of texts. If you want to use these techniques, you have to make sure to leave enough time between when she last spoke to you and when you send any of these texts so that you don't risk double texting back to back right after each other. It's okay to send a text, a couple days go by, she didn't reply, and then send another text. But you don't wanna do that an hour or two, or even the same day after you sent a text. Is a telltale sign for a woman of a man on a path to a freak out. It just doesn't present you as confident as a man of value should be. And if you're not a man of value, why would you even expect any woman to waste her time on you? A woman once showed me a text from a guy that she really, really liked that she met online and he asked some question and then he waited a few hours and then he simply sent a question mark and just that little character, that little little innocent question mark completely turned her off because it shows her that he's not patient that he can't just wait a couple hours for her to reply back it kind of makes it seem like she's on your mind for that entire time frame like those four hours are going by and the guy is like checking his phone constantly whether he is or not that's just how it seems and then she's not replying back and he's freaking out so he has to send a question mark. I know, for us guys, it sounds ridiculous. It's a what? fucking question mark. But a woman isn't just looking at the content of the question mark, she's looking at the context, which is that you are impatient, you don't have other stuff going on, you don't have other women in your life, it's like you're waiting so eagerly for her to reply back, and it's gonna make women lose interest in you. So just don't double text. All right, let's jump back into the next text on our list. Number three, you've probably heard that everybody's favorite topic is themselves. It's classic Dale Carnegie, how to win friends and influence people. Well, you wanna know what people love even more than talking about themselves? It's hearing about themselves. Specifically, hearing what other people think about them. And this is a question that most everyone wants to know the answer to. I just realized who you remind me of. And of course, when you send this, you better have a good enough answer for when she asks you who. I usually just send a picture of a really cute dog or a really cute cat, which typically makes her laugh and always, always, always gets a reply back. All right, we're nearing the end, gentlemen, so stay with me. Number two, are you still alive? question mark. Now, it might seem kind of cynical at first, but it's actually kind of playful because you definitely don't expect that she actually suddenly died. 
but it subtly sends a very important message. And here's what I mean. When you send a text like that, you're taking back control of the situation because you're subtly telling her that you think that the only reason a woman wouldn't text you back is if they were dead. You're basically saying that you're too interesting and awesome to be ignored. And you're saying it with just enough humor not to be brazen. Or maybe it'll just come off like you're actually concerned about her, which is not a bad thing either. And nobody wants to be thought of as being buried six feet underground. So she'll usually text you back, at least to let you know that she's still alive. And last, but certainly not least, send her the text, I didn't take you for the flaky type. And you'll surely get a response as soon as she sees it. Because when you call her out like that, she'll likely feel the need to defend herself and her actions. Nobody wants to be thought as flaky. This particular text, sent at the appropriate time, actually places the control firmly in your grasp. You're showing her that you're confident enough to just call it out and that you don't expect that type of behavior from people. But you have to be careful with this one because if you don't steer the conversation correctly, you risk sounding whiny. And there are very few things that are more unattractive than a guy who acts like a crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> this brings me to the bonus tip that I wanted to share with you. The key to all of this is to remain calm and unaffected. And the same is true if she tests you in real life. You're a cool, confident guy on your purpose, so it shouldn't bother you if she doesn't write back once or twice. Always keep the texting fun and playful. Remember, the whole point of texting is for you to see her again. That's it. But if her flaking and ghosting is consistent, you can either just move on to somebody who doesn't ghost and flake so much, or call it out. Listen to see if she gives you an explanation and then just communicate to her that it's not cool to be ghosted. And trust me, when you do this the right way in a not too overly serious or affected way, she'll pay way more attention to answering when you text her. If she was testing you, then congratulations, you passed the test. But if she was genuinely caught up, she's definitely gonna take more care not to ghost you in the future. Now, here is what will keep her from ever even imagining ghosting you in the first place. It's making an amazing first impression when you meet her. If you spark high levels of attraction and high levels of connection, and she feels sexual tension between you and her, she's going to reply back to every text. In fact, she's gonna wanna see you as soon as possible. That's why you should grab a copy of my book so that you know exactly what to say and how to say it so you can spark real instant attraction and connection right away. Because like I said, if you do that, she'll never dream of ghosting you. So just click the link in the description or to the right of this screen in just a second to grab your copy. My name is Matt Artisan from the Attractive Man Coaching Team and I'll see you in the next video down below.